Welcome to Blazing Bullets. This is part two of my uh, talent grip section and I've actually had two Glocks and I've been putting this off for a long time. Don't ask me why, I don't know why. Uh, but this is my Glock 19. This is the one I carry in my vehicle at all times. This is a loaded weapon. I will unload it. I always have it loaded in the vehicle. Magazine out. Always keep your hand off the trigger. Never have your hand on the trigger unless you're meaning to fire. Open the slide, and I usually do it a few times. Make sure that you didn't put one in there. That's a totally empty weapon. And you can see that it's a totally empty weapon. Nothing anywhere. So now we have to get the talent grip out for this weapon. Um, I'll be real happy to have this on there um, with winter time coming up. Um, my hands are getting old and they sting pretty bad in the winter time when it's really cold out. So, and the talent grip seems to, for, I don't know if it's in my head or what, but for some reason it makes me feel like there's less stinging because um, these polymer grips for me, they seem to vibrate the uh, rounds right through them, and uh, and I absolutely hate that. And um, that's usually why I use the half-cut gloves all the time when I'm shooting with them um, to keep that recoil down on the palms of my hands. All right, when you get these, you know they come with an envelope, and I'm not real dainty about tearing them open. And uh, they come in. They free, free ship them. Um, you pull out your grip. There's my grip for my 19. It's obviously different from the 29. If you looked at, if you saw that video, I always usually give you a little sticker, a little talent grip sticker. Your little alcohol swab to clean off the uh, the grip before you stick on the talent grip. Obviously the the talent grip itself. You get nice little instructions on the back. Um, tells you how to do it, but I'm going to show you here how to do it. And that's pretty much it. You can see, I don't, uh, I don't pay any less than anybody else. It's the same, same amount for my uh, grip as anybody else. So I don't get no freebies out of this. I just, uh, I enjoy their, their grips, and uh, and I'm trying to show anybody who's maybe thinking about it uh, or um, wondering how they work or how to do it properly just how to do it properly all right so you open up your little alcohol prep thing that they give you and uh, it's just sort of like the same thing you get when you get a shot or whatever open up the little I think it's just alcohol in there and rub it on your grip make sure you get all the residue or finger oil or anything like that off the grip so nothing after you stick it on it doesn't uh, peel off get that nice and clean I didn't do that on my 29 but I knew that was pretty clean so This is obviously a bigger grip because the 19 has a bigger grip than uh, the 29 did. It's definitely a longer uh, grip. And I'm not sure. Same size as my, I think it's my son's 23. Yeah, it's a 23. 19, 23. They should be pretty much the same frames. I believe they're the same frames. This was my 29 that I just got done doing a video on. And you can see that the size difference is definitely a difference. Definitely a difference there. The 29 is a much shorter grip. 19 is definitely a longer grip. I apologize if I go off camera. I try to stay on, on camera here, but it's kind of hard to actually see what you're doing and, and look in the camera and see if you're in, in frame or not. But anyways, 
you want to try to do like you did before um, and if you didn't see that one what I do is I try to line up get a feel for how the grip is supposed to be sitting there like I said I'm pretty OCD about it I like to have it straight so just get a kind of a feel for how you want to sit it make sure you got the back strap that you need because the Gen 4's come with um, optional back straps now make sure you have one that fits in your hand the way you like it um, always have um, have this thought out beforehand um, so I went to the range with this already I've shot it before so I like the back strap that's on here so I'm gonna put the uh, talon grip over that these are the gen 4 ones now if you have a gen 2 or gen 3 or even a gen 1 if you're lucky enough to have a first uh, first generation one um, definitely going to need a different back strap so make sure that talon grip knows that that uh, I believe on their website they they ask uh, um, ask you what generation Glock you have and they make uh, they make them for every gun um, that's a Glock uh, this is an XDS this is a Springfield XDS um, 45 I believe that's my 45 that's my 45 one um, but the, the 9 millimeters is the same um, but they make them for XDS's uh, Springfield uh, this is my Springfield XD9 subcompact and it also has a talon grip um, I put them on everything except for my 1911's which you know 1911's you know the, that already has a pretty nice grip on them or if you, if you really want to get fancy get yourself a hog grip or something like that but for your average polymer gun, this, these work out really well. And for me, I like the feel of them. I like the feel of it in my hand. I think it keeps down on the uh, pounding on my hand, especially in the winter time when we go shooting, um, to have like, these rubberized grips on there. All right, same way. Um, and if you look, watch the, the Glock 29 video, um, it's the same thing. You take the uh, grip in your hand you separate the backing from it you can see how it peels away there and I usually just start out with peeling off half of it and line them up where I want much because they have a there's there's cutouts here you can see that they have its slit and it's just just so it has a better fit and have a slit there instead of bunching up on you uh, I think Talon does a pretty good job of that. And you get it started. I usually start with the back strap there a little bit. Make sure you get your T part. See the T right there? Make sure that's sitting up because that's probably how the grip's supposed to be. Make sure the T's up. All right. Now, once you get this part on the way you like, I like to try to get the first half, and you notice that the second half is still connected to the. Uh, the backing is still connected to the uh, grip. Um, I peel off the rest of it, and try to straighten that part up. All right, now pulling the fingers over, and this is where your fingers are going to be on the grip. You peel this over, crossed, match up with the other side. Sure you get it on there good tamp it down good tamp it all the way around make sure you're, there's no air gaps no bubbles um, make sure all these grips around the side here make sure there's no air gaps in those just once you hit that hair dryer on there um, they're going to stay bubbled up like that and then eventually it's going to peel on you so you don't want to do that you want to make sure it's on there really good obviously that's put on right there's a little T right there I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but that's a little T right there so it's sitting up that's for a talon grip push it down there and uh, that should be ready to go feels good just got to throw the hair dryer on it let me get the hair dryer out 
all right now once you get it warmed up you want to make sure you do like uh, you did in the beginning here when you put it on you just kind of smash it down make sure it's all in there because the glue's kind of warm so you want to make sure it's sticking on there real good um, like I said once these are on there they don't usually come off um, and I I uh, they make uh, grips for these things where you can slide them on I don't like something you can slide on because it slides off um, you want something you don't want something that's going to fall off all the time and these are on there good, real good and they ain't going to come off there and it gives you something texture to grab a hold of but that's basically what you do um, now my 19's done well thanks for watching uh, blazing bullets be safe I don't know if it's in my head or what, but for some reason it makes me feel like there's less stinging because um, these polymer grips for me, they seem to vibrate the uh, rinds right through them and, uh, and I absolutely hate that. And um, that's usually why I use the half cut gloves all the time when I'm shooting with them um, to keep that recoil down on the palms of my hands. All right, when you get these, you know, they come with an envelope, and I'm not real dainty about tearing them open. And, uh, they come in, they free, free ship them. Um, you pull out your grip. There's my grip for my 19. It's obviously different from the 29 if you looked at, if you saw that video. I always usually give you a little stick prep thing that they give you. And uh, it's just sort of like the same thing you get when you get a shot or whatever. Open up the little, I think it's just alcohol in there. You can rub it on your grip. Make sure you get all the residue or finger oil or anything like that off the grip. So nothing, after you stick it on, it doesn't uh, peel off. that nice and clean. I didn't do that on my 29 but I knew that was pretty clean so this is obviously a bigger grip because the 19 has a bigger grip Welcome to Blazing Bullets. This is part two of my uh, talent grip section, and I've actually had two Glocks. I've been putting this off for a long time. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. Uh, but this is my Glock 19. This is the one I carry in my vehicle at all times. This is a loaded weapon. I will unload it. I always have it loaded in the vehicle. Magazine out. Always keep your hand off the trigger. Never have your hand on the trigger unless you're meaning to fire. Open the slide, and I usually do it a few times. Make sure that you didn't put one in there. That's a totally empty weapon. And you can see that it's a totally empty weapon. Nothing anywhere. So now we have to get the talon grip out for this weapon. Um, I'll be real happy to have this on there um, with winter time coming up. Um, my hands are getting old and they sting pretty bad in the winter time when it's really cold out. So, and the talon grip seems to be a little talon grip sticker. Your little alcohol swab that 
clean off the uh, the grip before you stick on the talon grip. Obviously, the the talon grip itself. You get nice little instructions on the back. Um, tells you how to do it, but I'm going to show you here how to do it. And that's pretty much it. You can see, I don't uh, I don't pay any less than anybody else. It's the same same amount for my uh, grip as anybody else. So I don't get no freebies out of this. I just uh, I enjoy their their grips and uh, and I'm trying to show anybody who's maybe thinking about it uh, or um, wondering how they work or how to do it properly, just how to do it properly. All right, so you open up your little alcohol.